Hello everybody and welcome to our YouTube channel Alegria Real Estate and today's on our new episode of Property Cast. I'm here with my beautiful host Lisa. Hello. And today we're going to discuss a very interesting topic and very useful topic and an important topic which is the taxes in Spain and also how the process of purchasing property goes here in Spain and especially in our region um, in, in Alicante. <music> So today we're going to discuss with Lisa, with a real example of the of one of the listings of Lisa, uh, how much you're supposed to pay uh, taxes or other fees, legal fees, and so on. So this is going to be very important and crucial information to know uh, when you're buying a property in Spain. So Lisa, could you please um, show us first example, what is our property today, which we are going to use as an example, yes. which you can also buy because yes. it's a listing <laughs> Of Lisa. So can you please tell us what is the listing and some other information about it? Okay, so the house is located in San Miguel de las Salinas, okay. so in the area of Alicante. Mm -hmm. It's 10 minutes uh, down from uh, the beach of Milpaneras, really mm -hmm. nice. Um, three bed, three bath, with a community area, so you have pool inside, it's really nice. And the price of this property is 180,000 euros, so mm -hmm. it's it's a nice property. So now we will detail all the fees you have to pay when you want to buy this property, actually. Yes. So in Spain, uh, when you're buying a property, uh, we have little differences for the non-residents and also for the residents of Spain. But um, some things are very similar. So when you're buying property in Spain, um, let's say we have this example, like we have uh, for 180,000 yes. uh, property that Lisa has listed. When you're buying property, you will have a transfer tax, which you pay when you're buying a property. It is uh, in our region, 10%, uh, but it uh, varies from six to 10%. So make sure uh, in which region you're buying, so you know the exact um, amount uh, for the transfer tax. So it's calculated from the price uh, uh, of the property. And um, after that, we have very important tax as well if you're buying a new build uh, property which is the um, AGD uh, tax which is one and a half percent which is added on the top of the 10 percent of the uh, VAT tax here in Spain and if we think about this example that we have today which is the Lisa's uh, listing in San Miguel de las Salinas um, it is um, one, uh, 18,000 uh, euros for the, for the tax, uh, for the transfer 10%. tax. Yes, yeah. so 10%. That's quite easy. Yes. And, and of course, additionally, on the top, we have some additional um, uh, expenses that you make sure to, to know before you're buying the property. So it's not only the transfer tax. Um, and having a lawyer... Do you, Lisa, know why do you need to have a fiscal representative in Spain when you're buying a property? Yes. Um, what happens if you if you <laughs> don't pay your taxes when you're buying a property? You're not owner of the property if you don't pay taxes. Yeah. So it's really important to be with a lawyer because in case you don't have a lawyer, you do it all by yourself. So mm -hmm. that's why. The other taxes we do have, it's notary and register fees. Yes. So it's like 1%. Mm -hmm. And you can say like when you buy a property, actually, you can... Say like when you see a property in line, you can say, okay, I need to add 12%. Why 12? Because you have 10 on um, the, like the imposition, 10% yes. of Alicante and 1% for notary. And we do add pretty much 1% for the lawyer. So yes. That's why you can say 12. So that's like the overall uh, that we usually say, because it includes like all the um, lawyer fees, uh, registration to the to the land register, the property, yes. you have the legal fees, you have the NIA numbers, bank account, uh, to open the bank accounts in Spain and also if you are planning to, for example, um, get a mortgage for the property. So of course these are additional things that you need to take in consideration. Um, and um, usually in our case, uh, the um, commission of the property is paid by the by the seller. So that is a very important thing. And in our company, we do not have any um, hidden fees. Uh, so the price you see on the website, it's already the price and there won't be any additions except these mandatory yes. things. So, <laughs> Obviously. Yes. So Lisa, can you also tell us about um, some additional things? Like, for example, when you are an owner, what do you need? 
need to take in consideration? So do you have some taxes or annual charges? So can you explain about those? Yeah, exactly. So when you buy a property here, obviously you have two taxes if you are in the community. Mm -hmm. um, so you have pretty much the community charge if you have a property. So in this case, in this property, the charges, we have a pool in this co-property, uh, it's 35 per month. Yeah, so really that's cheap. so, yeah, <laughs> compared to Finland, we pay like 300 um, to 600 per euros, month. even more. So oh that's crazy. God. Spain is so. super cheap. <laughs> yes, exactly. So on um, insurance also, which is, is like pretty much 200 per year, actually you can subscribe in the bank and mm. you should subscribe in the bank because your you will have like reduced fees with other subject in the bank so that's nice. yes like for example the the bank checks when yes. you're buying the property because in spain we do the transfers by um, bank checks when we are buying the property so it's about 300 euros so when you get the insurance from the property you will get some discounts there which is a very important thing to remember yes. and also so if not if you are not in a community you have also to pay a taxes mm -hmm. which is we call it a eb it's pretty much a property tax yes in this case it's 390 euros per year mm -hmm. like you have a house three bed three house for that price yeah it's amazing in france like you can pay this price multiple by five Crazy. <laughs> pretty much not by four maybe <laughs> it's like really much so yeah it's pretty much all the charges you have to pay during one year so community fees mm -hmm. and taxes like um, property tax. Yes, and the home insurance fee. Yes. So those are the basic annual uh, charges. Exactly. And then if you're planning to invest um, a property here for, for investment reasons, uh, there are some differences if you are resident of Spain and also a non-resident in Spain. So when you're buying property in Spain as a resident, um, it is counted as, a, as an overall income for you. Um, and it is going to be charged um, uh, in progressive scale. Uh, it is called ERPF tax that you're going to pay for the, for the income of the property. So that is important thing to know because it depends on your income. And sometimes people think that if you are a resident, you will pay less tax uh, mm -hmm. rather than non-resident, <laughs> which is not true. No. So that is very interesting that maybe even being non-resident is more beneficial for you if you're buying as an as a investment. So you better uh, do that. And then when you are non-resident and you're buying, um, buying property for, uh, for rental uh, reasons, purposes, um, uh, in order to calculate the, the, um, the taxes that you need to pay, it depends also where you're from. So if you are uh, inside the EU, uh, either in Norway or, um, or in Iceland, you will pay 19% of the income. So from the from the net income, you will reduce all the all the um, expenses that you have yeah, for the, the property. Fees. Yeah, the maintenance, the tax, and everything. So that's even pretty good. Even furniture, like if you, even have, furniture. if you want to pay some furniture to buy some furniture for the property, yes. you can reduce it also. So that's really good. And if you're outside, you um, you will pay a little bit more. So it's twenty four percent for the income. But I think it's still still pretty good. Yeah. Um, income you can get in Spain for for that. So. That is really, really interesting. And that was the rental part. Mm. And also, Spain encouraged you to rent because in case you don't rent your property, you have also another taxes to pay. Um, when you rent, and so you have like 19% if you're in Europe, mm -hmm. in Europe European Europe, Union, yes, yeah. and 24 if you're not. Mm -hmm. And if you do not rent your property, so the property you will pay a percentage of the cadastral value. Yes. So in this case, the cadastral value is one hundred twenty thousand. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they will put they will um, put one percent of this value. Mm -hmm. And if you are resident of the European, you will pay nineteen percent of this one percent. Mm -hmm. And if you are outside of the euro, you will pay twenty four percent of this one percent. Yeah. Okay. It's not. It's not much. It's not a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I will tell you the price now. If you are in the in the US, so you will pay with the, in this uh, example you pay 250 per year, mm -hmm. okay? If you do not rent your property. Mm. And if you are outside of the Europe, you will pay 316. 
So if you do not rent your yeah. property. So it's not that much. But it's still like some encouragement for you to use the property um, as an as a investment opportunity yes. and not just keep it empty because there's high demand for rental properties at the moment, especially Lots. for long-term rentals. Yes. So if you have a property that you need to rent, um, contact us and we'll get you your property um, earning some money because there's a really big lack of rental properties. And even, especially, yeah. Even when you are resident here in Spain and you, if you want to do like an investment for long-term long -term rental, mm. they reduce your imposition. I think they reduce by 50%. Yes. Like it's huge. <laughs> they yes. really want to encourage you to rent your property. Yeah. So. And I think uh, renting and in investing in a property and also getting people or, or a company to, to handle your rentals is very important to get a good company that will handle everything. And actually, if you are looking to buy a property through our company, we will also handle, handle the rental services. We have a huge rental department in Alegria um, where we have, I think, over 300 properties. Yeah. So we have a very big experience of rentals and also... Um, finding properties for investment purposes for our clients and we have many happy clients that have invested in in our region and are earning at the moment so don't lose that possibility because at the moment the prices are keeping to increase yeah we're taking 10 person per year like yes Torrevieja. that's crazy that's a uh, that's huge. <laughs> yes, that's huge. So very important information. Um, tax is a very um, crucial thing to pay attention in Spain. Um, you need to have your fiscal representative if you are a non-resident in Spain, uh, because if you don't pay your taxes, you will have some issues after that. And there have been some surprises if you don't handle those things. Um, but don't worry, we are here for that to yes. help you through the whole process. So. Don't be afraid. Yeah. <laughs> if you have any question, like put on the comment below. I think it's it's all for today. Like yes. we're doing all the um, all the example. basic yes, yeah. all the basic uh, information about the the um, taxes and fees. And in the next episode, we will actually um, discuss more uh, properties for investment. Uh, which properties you should invest in? How does it? Uh, how does the system go with the investment properties? Because it's a little bit different when you are buying property for for yourself as yes. a holiday home or for your investment. So there are many things you should pay attention to, and we're to help. We're here to help you to to find the best property to to earn um, good income from the rentals. Yes. So that is all for today's property cast. Um, if you have any questions, uh, you can uh, comment them down below, like Lisa said, and we will definitely answer them in the next video or in the comments. So that's all for today, and we'll see you next time. Hasta, Hasta pronto. pronto.